Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm David Crowley. Today's back, we will be doing a parallel park. Our axles will be all the way forward, and we will be, uh, and I'll be showing you everything that I'll be doing to do it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want to get notified of some future videos, ring that bell. Enjoy. So this is the back that we're going to be doing today. A parallel park uh, 2.0. This is the way that I do it. This is the way that I will always do it. Anyway, so let's jump into the cab now and uh, let's look at the mirrors and let me go through everything that I uh, believe is relevant to uh, perfecting this back. Okay, so again now, so if you're new to this, again we have our steering wheel. The, re the reason why I'm putting that there and I wasn't putting it up there for decoration is to show you how much steering I actually do and when I do do the steering wheel. Again, we got our uh, left hand mirror, our convex mirror, and our right hand mirror, and our convex mirror on the right. Okay, and of course our cab uh, view of what we're, lo we're looking at on the road. And of course, our all favorite drone footage. Uh, anyway, okay, let's keep going. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually dipping, I'm going away from my space, and then I'm going to drift, drift into my space and come right back out again, setting up for a straight back I'll be doing. Now, let me rewind here for just a second. Now, here's the mistake that most people make, all right? So, what, basically, I'm going to show you what mirror you're going to end up looking at, all right? Is when you, is when you're, when you're, when you, if you're doing this without my, my guidance. All right. So you're looking at the right hand mirror. Then you, now you're starting to the left. Now you're starting to look into the left hand mirror. All right. And uh, now you're looking to the right. Because basically what happens is what people do, and I've seen this all the time, people are looking in the wrong mirrors. All right. One of the biggest reasons why people are getting into accidents is because they don't, want, they don't know what mirror to look at. It's very simple. Only look at the mirror that you can see most of the trailer. So in this particular situation, what mirror are you looking at? Well, you're looking in this one. Always. It doesn't matter where, where you're steering. If you're steering to the right, to straighten yourself up, all right, like right, right now, this is where people look in the wrong mirror. All right. It's okay to, to peak. I want most of your mirror watching to be in whatever side the trailer is on, whatever side you can, you, you can see the tires. All right. So let's start again. Let's start again. So at this particular point, we're always looking at this right-hand mirror. This is the mirror that we're going to focus on. Okay. So we're, we're keep looking to the right hand mirror because we want, we want to make sure we do not hit this cone or this car or this pole or whatever it is. All right. Just because you're starting to turn to the left to straighten yourself out does not mean that you get to stop looking in that mirror. Okay. It's okay to peek. It's okay to look, in, look ahead, but I want, I want most of your focus on that right hand mirror, the object that you will hit. Okay. Now let's take a, so when we get to around here, all right, again, we're still looking. This particular point is very important. You gotta make sure how the, the distance you have here, because you do not want the swing of the trailer. If you're an inch or two inches away from here, all right, stop. All right, you, you'll probably end up hitting. The swing of the trailer will probably hit. Okay, so, but if you're if you're at least if you're a foot away, you're fine. The swing will not hit. All right, it'll it'll get closer, but not not too much. All right, now unless your axles are forty feet forward, which obviously is not the case, that can happen, but. We're usually at the at the forty foot mark, all right. Maybe the 30, 35 foot mark, all right. And uh, I've proved that uh, the swing will not hit, all right. As long as you are not, as long as you're as long as you're not within a foot, all right. Actually, it's more like four inches, but we're not going to take that gamble, okay. Anywho, let's keep her going. So now we can look into the left hand mirror, all right. Peaking. So what are we looking at? We're going to make sure we're not, we're not going to hit these cones here, all right. We're not going to hit them, and we're going to finish off in a straight back. I think th this is very important. I believe this is very important. This is what I do. So again, we, we are watching this video so I can show you what I do. And if you like it, then you can do it too. All right. So let's get those uh, lines going out. So if when I look in the left-hand mirror, I want to make sure my trailer is pointing to this area here. If it's pointing over here, let's go look. This is the same place over here. All right. If it's pointing here, you will not get it in. It will not go in. It'll be a terrible back. So basically, I want my trailer to be pointing in this somewhere in here. Basically, if it's towards the grass, it's good. All right. If it's towards the corner, it's good too. I have it pointing a little bit, like a foot away from the curb. All right. I would prefer it if I was actually point more. Now, if I wanted to get it pointing to more towards over here, and as long as I have the space and the time, I would drive forward or to go to the left, and it will start pointing me more towards this way and then I would concentrate on my uh, my straight back so what we're gonna do we're just gonna drive straight okay 
We're gonna uh, just basically just do small little maneuvering, tiniest little bit, bit just so I can get my, my trailer straight. Okay, now what I'm looking at here, I'm looking at both mirrors, but a lot of it, my, my main looking is actually you know, in this mirror over here on the right. Okay, it'll because uh, I, want, I want to make sure the back of my trailer is not gonna hit this curb. Okay, now the back of the actual trailer might dip over the curb, but my main goal is for the tires not to. So basically, once the, once the back of the, I already know that my, my trailer can go over this curb all right the dot bumper because it's higher than it so i'm going to take advantage of that all right it was when you, you only do that like if that's a wall well i'm first of all i'm probably not going to be doing backing up next to it but again my, the back of the trailer would hit the wall so it's be very difficult to actually parallel park by a wall because of the well the swing anywho all right let's keep her going all right so i'm again i'm just focusing on the straight back that way i get to look in both mirrors i get to see what's going on all right, so right around here. So let's see, let's, when do I start turning? All right, so when I'm looking out the window, let's say this is a truck. Let's say, yeah, let's say this is the back of a trailer. Okay, now when I'm, uh, when I can look out my right hand win window, all right, and I can see the back of the truck, I, I, that's probably where I'm going to start turning. All right, now if I'm turning to the right, all right, that means the front of my cab will go to the left. Okay, remember that. All right, so we got to, if you're turning to the right, you immediately got to look into the, to the left to make sure you have the room. Okay? This goes for every situation. Every time you're you're backing up, all right? You got if you're going to if you're going to crank that steering wheel to the left, you automatically got to look to the right, one in the reverse as well. So I want the front of my trailer to go flying over here to the right in order for me to get for me to get parallel. So I'm going to turn my steering wheel to the right. So I have it cranked. That way it will It'll maneuver in the shortest distance. Now I can't hold it for too long, all right? So, because uh, I have to chase it and get, I gotta get my whole truck and trailer parallel. And let's see how it looks, all right? Now, forgive me, I dipped over here the line, but it's just more of a little bit of an optical illusion really because the, the bottom of my trailer is right here in the middle of the G. So I did just fine. So what I'm gonna pull forward and center myself so let's go over that one more time with a little bit different explanation and different stuff what I'm actually looking at. All right, multi because uh, I can't if I tell you too much at once, it's kind of hard to hard to uh, to uh, focus on everything. So what are we looking at? So step one, we're pointing our trailer. If we look in the left hand mirror, we're pointing to the center with this corner here. All right, this is what we're going for. We're not going for here. Okay. And then we're going to make sure that we have a space between here and here that we're not hitting. All right. What else? So when we, okay, I want to look at here. So basically a lot of time I, I, I start my jackknife when the back of my truck gets to the curb. Okay. It'll get to the curb and then it'll, in, instead of getting closer to it, it'll just, it'll just stay hogging next to it. All right. Dips over a little bit and then it comes back. So you see that curve that it made? So it's going to be making a curve like this, all right, and then it's back again, okay. Now and then as soon as I start jackknifing, it just starts pointing more towards over here then. So the red line is over here and then it's going to end up over here. And then I just pull forward and straighten myself up. Okay guys, please like, subscribe comment, tell your friends, tell your enemies. Have a good day. Bye-bye.